Okay, it's your boy TJ. We back. We back with another video. Can you actually believe it? Holy shit. Make sure you are liking and subscribing because, you know, I've got to keep going. I'm going to keep this up. 1678, 1, 2, 3 touch. Previous highs. Right? Ignore this. Okay, all noise. Now, we know that we've dropped from si from 1682. Then made bodies at 1678 into the new hour, then sells off. Okay, bearish engulfing. Separate zone. We're in this zone now. But this is called a noise zone. Obviously, I'll explain this. But because the highs are up here, this is a full retracement. Okay, this is a retracement area. This area up here is a retracement area. Obviously not... 1650 but we get the idea okay 1678 we touch once touch twice touch three times wow holy shit that was hard to say so because we touch three times and then we go into the other candles the other 4h the monthly the weekly we're going to go through it all because in the end of the day you have to get more confirmations now previous high to shoot up we tapped Collection. Are we going to see a pullback? Even to when you're on the 4H, 1646, if we broke down, then we're going to pull up again to around 1645 anyway, which is why we're holding buys. Now, we're going to see, if you look at the monthly and the daily actually as well, the monthly doesn't really show much. It was the daily that I wanted to show you guys. Even though you have the bullish engulf in, from 1617 push up to 16, uh, 1728. If you're looking at the low highs, it's 1640. This is a collection of orders. You know, we're not saying, I'm not saying gold's not a sell, but we've got to retrace back to 1678. Now, when you're even looking on this daily, 1690 could be a possible error, but I'm trading daily. So I'm holding a swing trade and aiming on the 4H and 1H candlesticks. That's the candlesticks that I normally follow. It's the easiest, I think, 30 minutes and 15 minutes off a confirmation. But even still, 30 minute time frame, low highs on the 27th of September, and then we went long. Now we've retraced back, we touched and went bullish. We also touched, went bullish, but pulled back further. Now I think this pullback is to wick out and then go long. I wanted it to create some like head and shoulder pounds, so. Shoulder head, shoulder, or reject 1643 area, which is why I got the buy limit. That understands why we, you know, we hit that buy, buy limit SL because previous lower highs, the highs you wanted it to respect here didn't. We wanted to respect 1636, obviously, but that was the reason for that entry as well. All in the free trades, make sure to join up. We're still finding resistant support story off the lower highs, body high, which is good. Obviously, 15 minute time frame, anything can happen. But when you're looking at this one each. You wanted to find real, real support, and it's not even really support. It's more like price action. You know that the, you know the trade has to pull back. It has to pull back because when you're looking at the bearish noise, and like I said, this is noise. This is the thing that threw me off guard. High body, not touched on the four H, not touched. It's not touched, and the only confirmation. Go on the one each. High lows. Was it was the high low touched? And this is the one thing that can throw you off of trading. This is why you gotta adapt to the market conditions. Because I'm thinking, you know, we haven't touched here yet. P push up, push up. Can't make new highs. Obviously not. Pull back. Wicked out previous buyers. Gone back up again. Failed to make new highs. Now, when you're on the one H, you're looking at the highs in a body. Bang, rejected, perfectly, perfectly rejected, yeah, and you're thinking, okay, beautiful rejection, but technically, we're bearish still, you know, it never broke below the highs, you see these highs, nothing is breaking below, 
And this is why, and the same again with the body and for the cells that we caught yesterday and held over Tokyo session, which is the whole point of this video, but I'm also doing some full, full analysis break, breakdown on gold because, you know, the people want to hear it. You guys want to see what I'm thinking, see what I see, and see if you guys can see. So, obviously, this is the noise channel that we said. So, you're still bearish, which is why for these cells. Coming up, previous cells coming up, pull below, made new lows, pull up again. Couldn't break out the wick, respected the body, then sold off. And yeah, TP was smashed on this trade. Could have even held. It was a good trade. I closed just before TP at 16.45. I just wanted to secure, secure the profits. You know how it is. But moving forward anyway. Now, because we made new lows, yeah, it's a little bit scary, but... We're not breaking out of this wick at this moment in time. 16, 37, 80. We're not breaking out of it at the moment. And we're finding great, great support on the lower, on the wick high. Which is, that's trading. That's just how gold is. If you watch my videos and the more you watch my videos, you'll see how gold moves. Because I, I learn it. Anyway, you would exp you would have wanted, and this is the only thing that scares me. You would have wanted the lower high the lower high high of the wick you would have wanted rejection here but like I said the daily makes more sense it makes more sense to reject at this level the 4H also makes more sense to reject at around this level and also that could be a liquidity grab as well this could just be a liquidity grab and then we never break out of these lows. And then we go bullish from there on in. And like, we, you know, with these with these buys, and I just want to do a whole analysis basically just to give you guys a quick update on how free trades has been doing. But look at these buys that I'm thinking, well, I'm not thinking that I'm in right now. 16.40 entry, 16.78 profit target, and 16.39 SL. This isn't bullshit, you know, this this is facts. Previous break below, we gotta pull up and collect orders because there's no reason why there's one each rejecting. Even though we're bearish, we're always gonna be bearish until we reject again. We found support and it will just retrace back. That's not to say that we aren't setting because even if we come up to 1678 retest on the body highs, we're not, oh shit, sorry. We're not going to be breaking out, you know, that's, this is where you want it to come up to. And then this area here is where you want to see it never touch. Because if it breaks out of this area here, then it's still bullish until a certain point, which you have to look on the monthly or daily time frame. You know, it's not just as straightforward as seeing we don't know yet markets move. That's how it is. And obviously with this trade, if, you, if you're using a template for sale, you can afford to risk 2%, then you just make the SL just a little bit, you know, you don't get emotional. If it comes down to this week, you, it closes out, you don't get back in, you lose the 2%, but you risk 1% as well. And uh, yeah, it's a 38 to one trade. Other than that, obviously you move the SL because you don't want the spreads. Broker spreads on sales with gold aren't the best. They aren't the best. That's why you move for sell. And it keeps R to R the same. I'm not saying risk 1%, 20 pip for sell. Even though you could do that, I want to get the R to R on this trade. You know, I want to see if I can hit a 38 to 1 trade with multiple t take profits. Multiple take profits as well. Be very good if today is the day where we catch these buys. You don't want it really to come down to 1633. That would be very annoying. Obviously, this four hour will determine where the market's going to be going. Because on this 4H, you see it here. Come up, 1642. But then respected the body and completely, you know, dropped at this moment of time. We're not taking out new lows at the moment. We're not taking out the 1638 area. And obviously, that's our SL. So, we've got another 10 pips to go. But... You're just hoping that there's going to be some market impulsiveness where it's just going to it's just going to fly. And when you're looking at this on a downtrend, you'll be saying, okay, we broke below here. 
Now, what's going to happen? Huge pull up, respecting the wick body. Into cells. And then today is going to just be a bearish gold day. That's how other people would view it. And you can view it like that. But obviously, I'm trying to dictate the market into a different move. Into a bullish move. And even still, this 15 minute OB here can reject quite easily and go bullish and make new highs. But as if you're a seller, you'll look, okay, we found collection here from this high. Pull back, failed to make new highs. It's going bearish. That's how you view the market. And that's why I won't get emotional with these with these buyers, which just hit a sell. Obviously, the whole analysis was the sells. But also, I wanted to catch buyers. I wanted to catch the next move up. Now, what I'll do is I'll wait, see where gold goes to. And this is where you can't get emotional. So you hit an SL there. And this is why you can't get emotional. you got to wait. So now what I'll do is I'll wait to see where this is going to go. Because like I said, 1633. This zone here. Gold could go to anywhere here and reject. So when it does and if it does, it can continue to sell. You know, gold can continue to sell now. We'll have to see what happens. But if it is going to push up, then it will push up and then it will retest. And then you just have to keep the retest. You don't have to keep following into the trade as such. Keep taking losses, keep taking losses and then try and catch the move straight away. We'll like to see though how gold plays out, you know, when I upload this video. Give it a few days, see how gold plays out, see what it does. Will be annoying if uh, if we get wicked down, it goes up. But like I said, you catch the retest. So, goes up, comes back, catch the retest. No stress then, is there? Because in the end of the day, you're not following into the trade. You're keeping your losses to the minimal. Luckily, I smashed this trade overnight, slash this morning. So, I'm up today anyway. Took an SL there though, actually minus two, minus two percent there because I actually moved my SL, which is annoying, very very annoying. But in the end of the day, it is what it is. It's trading. You live and learn. And like I said, now we don't get emotional. We wait to see how it moves. And if gold does move bullish, then yo New York session, we're coming for you. Anyway, subscribe if you stayed this long. I hope I haven't waffled on too much. I hope my, you know. Hope I can help a few of you people learn how to trade, how you weigh out the pros and cons of a trade, and uh, yeah, why you just wouldn't enter a buy right now. You know, you just don't find more in. There's always more opportunities to go. Trading is a waiting game. You get paid to wait, and also when you're waiting, you know, trade another pair if you want to. But I don't. I just trade gold. And yeah, it's been your boy TJ. Failing to make new highs right now. If I catch the buys. Join up the free trades and I'll get in it. So yeah, peace.